this is liquid ocelot and uh, today I'm going to clarify something uh, regarding 64-bit Android emulator called Tyne Tyne but first of all I'm going to say that uh, I would uh, like to call out a youtuber called Kill Orbit and uh, if you search for 64-bit emulator Android you can find the first video is this and uh, I'm not blaming him because uh, if you open the video yes and if you see he is uh, running and downloading the whole video I cannot show you because I'll get copyright strike and he downloads whole of Fortnite and uh, somehow he says uh, that uh, because of some graphical errors he cannot run this emulator uh, he cannot run Fortnite on this emulator and in fact in the comment section I have asked him many times a lot of other people have asked him and uh, he has recently claimed that he has given up yes I'm going to show you his comment browser doesn't solve the GPU problem did you solve the GPU problem and he says kill orbit says that no bro I gave up this is one day ago so what happened is that uh, after watching this video I said okay I'll try my best I test it and uh, as you can see this video 64 bit Android emulator released but can it run Fortnite mobile and after watching this video you would see that uh, Fortnite cannot run on this emulator. Now this is a follow-up video for that as well as a reaction video to Kill Orbit's video called Android 64-bit emulator. I'm questioning him that is it really a 64-bit emulator or not. Now after opening you see 64-bit I downloaded it and I'm going to open it. I'm going to open this emulator now after opening this emulator it's called tie and tie emulator 64 bit and you see now what happens is that uh, I have Google Play Store you won't have it browser isn't working and uh, there is a tutorial uh, for that as well but you don't need to do that to be honest you don't need to waste any more time on this emulator and I'll show you exactly why I'll go to CPU Z and uh, and I'm going to open this I'm going to download it from the Google Play Store and open it open it and as you can see it says 3.9 gigahertz 8 cores of uh, cores of uh, processors you can see 4 4 gigahertz from all the 7 cores almost but over here you can see architecture x86 x86 means 32 bit this means that this is not a 64 bit emulator like uh, he is uh, saying but uh, one thing is for sure that the GPU render is 540 and this is exactly what is required to run Fortnite but uh, its architecture is not 64 bit now once we go to this Fortnite installer which I have installed downloaded from Epic Games website and this is everybody's having this problem I have seen not a single person uh, like downloaded the whole game go to the download page after opening the installer and uh, the question is now uh, even even if you download this installer you cannot you cannot install it so I'll just rectify it if you want to do your own testing all you have to do is uh, 
go to root explorer and here I write Fortnite okay and uh, it's going to search for it wait yeah yes I'm going to I'm going to find it don't worry MGFs and Fortnite installer yes this is the Fortnite installer so you have to install this APK from this site from here you have to install it and you have to paste uh, Fortnite installer inside this directory uh, tmnq user data time time underscore one see here you have to paste it like this uh, in the inside the folder Fortnite installer which is I have downloaded from um, Epic Games website so this is very bad news that uh, this 64-bit emulator is somehow not working and it's showing as a 32-bit emulator and I hope somehow um, uh, Kill Orbit sees this video and he gives a proper answer as to why uh, he claimed that this is a 64-bit emulator he made me make up my own video about this as well so I need to ask him thank you so much for watching please leave your feedback your thoughts in the comment section below and uh, let me know what you guys think what you guys have tested um, we as a community must work together if we need to resolve this issue thank you so much I'll be signing off take care